there so i've muted you and today's um meditation is about gratitude so there's a lot of emphasis on gratitude isn't there at the moment but when we're angry frustrated hopeless or if we're grieving it's really hard to be grateful so what i wanted to do is let's look at gratitude from a slightly different perspective because forcing gratitude isn't going to work so with this meditation we're going to allow ourselves the experience of not being grateful we're going to accept that we're angry we're sad or lost or in despair because those feelings are really important as well it's all well and good being told oh you must be grateful but we have to accept that there are these other feelings and they are relevant as well and then hopefully by giving these feelings relevance and accepting that they are part of us maybe then we can find the space to be grateful so how are we going to do this what does it mean to make space for a feeling so there is a psychologist and biophysicist biophys called dr peter levine and he studied how animals release trauma so after they've been under threat animals recover by allowing their bodies to shake now i've actually experienced this myself um after a car accident when we when I first moved to the UK, I was in a car accident. Nobody died, thankfully, but I had hit my head on the roof of the car and quite um, severely hurt my neck. I didn't need to um, go to hospital or anything like that. Um, in fact, I refused to go. In fact, I probably should have gone, but I didn't. But after the incident, my body started to shake as if I was very cold. Um, I didn't know what it was um, until quite recently. So I thought this was quite a, an interesting meditation to think about. Now, emotions live in our bodies as much as they feel like ephemeral things, like non-existent sort of things we can't grasp or understand. Our emotions are actually physical and chemical manifestations of our thoughts, which our bodies are trying to process. So our emotions are in our tissues. If you want to experience gratitude but are feeling blocked, ask yourself, what's eclipsing my gratitude? What is stopping me from feeling more grateful? And try to keep the answers to feelings. I'm feeling frustrated rather than why you're feeling frustrated. For example, I'm mad at a person who won't return any of my text. Um, so let's stick to feelings of frustration or anger rather than stories. Maybe you're feeling lonely. Maybe you're feeling anxious and afraid. If you want to write them down, you can. Or you can just think whatever it happens to be. So relax your face, relax your mouth, your jaw, your shoulders. Take a breath in from the nose and out from the nose or mouth. And just start to feel whatever feelings need to wash over you. 
what is it that you have been feeling recently? If you have tried to meditate and have been unable to be grateful, or if you tried to do a gratitude exercise, but just feel like you're hitting a brick wall. What are the feelings that are stopping you from feeling gratitude? You may have more than one feeling, one difficult emotion that you're feeling. Good. I'm hoping that you've listed out a range of difficult emotions that you might be, be going through at the moment. I want you to choose just one of them for now. And think about that feeling and just explore your body to see where in your body are you experiencing this emotion? Is it in your tummy? Is it in your throat? Is it in your head? It could be anywhere. There's no right or wrong. Often times emotions tend to dwell in the chest or throat area, stomach, and they could feel like a tightening or maybe a flutter or maybe it feels like something heavy like a brick or a rock sitting in one of these areas. I know that when I feel angry I feel it in my throat I feel like it's like someone tightening around my neck usually. When I feel sadness, I usually feel like it's constricting around my ribcage. When I'm scared, I usually feel it in my tummy. But these areas might be different for you. The idea is not to blast through this feeling. Just simply think about it, notice it, and experience it as a real thing. Maybe you're feeling a little bit resistance about the, uh, resistant about this at this point. And you might be thinking, I don't want to feel this. It's uncomfortable. And if that's happening for you, validate the resistance as an emotion too. Just start from here. Start from wherever you are at the moment. Where does that resistance live in your body? Where do you feel not wanting to feel? Observe your emotion and its accompanying sensations as if you would by looking at a piece of art at a museum. Not trying to change it, just looking at it with curiosity and wonder. Does the emotion feel like it has a texture, a colour, temperature? If the temptation to jump into its story comes up, that's okay. Notice the story, but gently put it aside, returning to the experience of the feeling, the energy of what's going on. Imagine you're asking yourself to stay in the same way that you would ask a puppy to stay. Except now we're asking ourselves to stay with the emotion just for a few moments, kindly, not shouting at ourselves. Just be gentle and kind. And let that emotion wash over you, accepting it as it is. 
Now start to focus on deep breaths. Sending the breath deep into the area of your body where you can feel this experience, whether it's your throat, your tummy, chest. As you go through the exercise, you might notice the emotion is moving or changing in its consistency or maybe even disappearing. And this is the beauty of sitting with our emotions and using it as a meditation. We see that everything we experience is not permanent and that our bodies are actually designed to process emotions as long as we allow ourselves to. And then once you've stayed with that emotion for as long as you feel called to, and maybe you need more than one sitting sometimes for some of the more difficult emotions, and maybe sometimes you might need someone to guide you, maybe a therapist, if those emotions are more deep-rooted. And then after you've worked with them, and work with yourself, you might notice if a tiny space opens up for some gratitude to come in, which might simply be, I'm grateful to have the time to sit quietly, and that's it. Or you might notice the beauty of the light where you're sitting, or the fact you are safe right now and then maybe you might feel a little bit lighter slowly slowly we can work through the different emotions that you've listed just a few breaths each time noticing the texture the color the temperature of that emotion and the space that it's in in your body. Allowing yourself to sit with it and breathe into the area of your body that you're feeling it. Kindly, gently, without any judgment. I'm hoping that if you practice this regularly, you might notice that you get to feel more and more of a sense of spaciousness from the difficult emotions. And then, only then, there might be a little more space for it, that gratitude. Breathing in and out slowly, in through the nose, out through the nose or mouth. Relaxing the pressures, relaxing the jaw. Okay. And slowly, slowly coming out of your meditation. 